Hi, Tefl Dude here, and today I'm going to show you how to use TinyTask, which will record any boring, monotonous steps that you have to do. My example is where I'm going to copy a book from an online library, and I take a screenshot of each page, and then I convert it into a book. And in part one, I'm going to show you how I copied these images using TinyTask, but in part two, I'm going to show you how I converted these images into a PDF document using NAPS2. So first we're going to go to the archive.org, or I think it's the openlibrary.org website, where you can borrow and look at any book you like for free. They sometimes give you an hour, or you can borrow it for 14 days. But it's always nice to keep it as a PDF copy. So one hour is all you need. Now in order to get a good screen size resolution, you need to rotate the page. So we're going to rotate the display. And then I'm going to use the tiny task to record a 10 second action. Then I'm going to play this action 256 times or 300 times. And I'm going to go away and have a cup of tea or go shopping and it will do all of that work for me. Then we're going to convert it into a PDF document where the four steps we're going to do are to crop the image. Then we're going to lower the brightness so that the page is white. Then we're going to OCR the document so we can copy text from it or find text. And then we're going to save it as a PDF. And once we've saved it as a PDF, we will probably print it as a PDF again because the image size is going to be bigger than A4. But I'll show you that at the end. So let's start by downloading TinyTask. Here, go to Google website, type in TinyTask, but make sure you go down to tinytask.com and download the latest version. You can install it into your computer if you want, but I always prefer to go to, for the portable version because the portable version means I can take it to a friend or I can use it at the school library. So let's scroll down, click on download the portable version. We'll download this anyway. Now, when you click on it, if it doesn't download, like I clicked on it, did it download? I don't know. Right click and open in a new tab. And there you can see it downloading. You can see I've done it three or four times already. Now, what I advise you to do is make a folder to put tiny task in and run it once and then close it. So watch as I run it and then I close it. This INI file is made. You need this. So run it once and close it. Now I'm going to run it. And to make sure it stays on top of the desk, like here, to make sure it stays on the top, you click here and put always on top. So click the preferences, always on top. Now if I click any document, it stays above the document. Now I'm going to look for a book. Remember, you will have to join this library in order to look at books for free. So I'm looking for this book. I'm going to press enter. And you can see there are some books which are not in the library and some which are. So I'm going to borrow this book. Now, if I was to take a screenshot of this as it is, it's much too small. The detail won't be there. It would be useless. What we need to do is make it single page like this, as you can see, it's much better, and then rotate the screen so I can take a picture of the whole page. Now, in order to do this, we're going to have to go to our search and go R-O-T, which is for rotate. Click this and simply rotate to portrait. Make sure you keep the changes and then click on here. 
Now to make sure we've got it a good size, just lower the size by clicking the minus button, then click the plus and then click next. As you can see, I've got a nice black border all the way around the page. So now that I have that, I'm going to move my tiny task here. Let's move to the first page. Now the first thing I do is I'm going to take a print screen of this page. Then I'm going to click next. I don't need a print screen of this, so I'm going to click next. Now, obviously print screen next, it's going to take some time to do 324 pages. So I'm going to take a print screen of this again. And now I'm ready to set my macro. What I'm going to do is go next, wait seven seconds, print screen, and then stop. That's my recording module. So, but rather than use these buttons, I prefer to use the keys. So I'm going to leave my mouse about here so that it has to do some movement. Shift Control Alt R. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Print screen. Shift Control R. And you may have seen this record button go from red back to blue. Red while I was recording and blue now it's finished. Now you can save this action if you plan to do it many times. Just click save and save it as uh, number one or anything you like. Now if I click play, it will only do it once. I want to do it 324 times. So click the preferences and go set repeat count 324. So I'm going to go 325 just to be safe. And now all I have to do is click play and it will start to run. So watch, I'll click play or you can do shift control alt P. So now you can see my hands. I'm not touching it. Watch in, in a few seconds, it will print screen and watch the hand move again. Next page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's going to do that for the next hour or so. I can go off, have a cup of tea or go shopping. When I come back, it will be completed. So I'm going to stop this now because obviously I've already done it before. A bit like Blue Peter, I'm going to show you one that I've done earlier. So I'm going to go Control Shift P and that stops these actions. Okay, so now let's rotate the screen back. Don't forget to keep the changes. And now we don't need this. Also, we don't need our recorder anymore, so we can turn that off. Now you can simply go to your pictures and find the screenshots that you've made. So here's the books that I made earlier. As you can see, there are all the pages. And now we need to open this NAPS2 in order to convert them. So go to the website where you can see naps2.com. You can download the installation version, but again, go to more files because I prefer the portable version because then you can use it on anybody's computer and you don't have to install it. So you download the zip and once again, make a new folder for this and put the zip file inside it. Simply right click and unzip. Now this is ready to run. I just simply double click it and there you have the interface. So now what we need to do, I can close this off. Now I'm just going to drag in all the images. Obviously, if you're going to drag in them all, you'd go Control-A, drag them all in. But I'm only going to 
drag in a few for as an example so you would obviously drag all of them in so these are my images now remember our path we're going to crop them first then brighten them then OCR them and then make them into a PDF now to crop them properly they should be all the same size but I think the cover is bigger than all the others so I'm going to just crop one let's say this one go to image crop and let's make it bigger and you can see these lines this is my crop area so I can do that and it will remember the crop area I've made uh, so I'm going to do this just for one page there you can see it's been cropped so first of all you need to do Control A to highlight them all Control and click on this one to eliminate it from the process go back to crop and it remembers where the crop marks were and you say apply to all selected images and you can just do that and there they're all cropped now we need to colorize them once again let's get an example click on one icon and then brightness once again we're only going to move the bottom icon so let's move this to about 800 is good so that's okay let's do that and you can see it's now white let's do it for all the others apart from the cover so I'm going to click I'm going to press Control A and then Control and click to eliminate the cover because it does have some green in it so let's do our brightness move it to 800 and then say apply to all 20 selected pages and there it's done all 20 have been made perfect this one will do by itself because if we put it to 800 it doesn't look very good so we need some more green we can lower this to make it less so uh, that looks quite nice so we'll keep it like that so now we have everything ready to be made into a PDF first of all you will have to obviously highlight them all control a click OCR now the first time you use it you will have to download the English language or Polish language or French language whatever you're using so download it's only 14 megabytes and we need to click make PDF searchable otherwise it won't do it and notice you can choose different languages if you wish to you can get more languages if you want to so I'm gonna say English yes fast no let's do it best I like best and now once again we'll highlight them all control a on the PDF just check the PDF settings because you can if you want to encrypt the PDF or put a password on it but we don't want to do that so we're just going to click highlight them all control a PDF and now we have to decide where we're going to save it I'm going to save it in the new folder as book and save so now it's going to OCR this PDF now you have a little icon here you can click on it but I'm going to go to the where I saved it new folder and I'm going to open it with the Adobe reader which everyone should be able to get is free and you can see here are my pages and so let's just check if the pages have been copied properly look how clear it is it's beautiful so you could copy this open a text document and paste it it's done really well now if you look at the document 
the pages are the numbers are together they should be apart if you want to read it like a two-page document so what we could do is simply delete or add a blank page let's delete this page and now when we save them all let's call it book two and now book two has the pages on either side so two is on the left three is on the right and this is how we would normally read it so that's our book completed normally this would be the end you've done it very happy problem is what we should do is just reprint it as a PDF because if you look at the file size this file size is 9 megabytes because the paper size is 36 centimeters by 60 centimeters so what we need to do is print it using the free Adobe print software so let's go to print and we want to go to Adobe PDF now if I was to print actual size look that's the actual size you can see the size on the top here 24 by 27 that's that size but this page is quite large so in order to make it 21 by 27 we go to properties say I want it as an A4 click OK leave it as standard and now if I print this it will print A4 remember the actual size is a lot larger so let's press print remember you must have document and markups included it says where to save I'm going to save it as book three and now I'm going to open it again in that other file we have book three let's drag it copy it here so let's look at the book now remember the quality is still there it's not gone away let's go file properties and now you can see it's 20 by 29 and it's 5 megabyte remember what the other one was the other one was 9 megabyte so you're going to half the size and you're going to make sure it's A4 so there you have it I use tiny task to copy 365 images without even being in the room we've converted it to PDF using free software and we've made it A4 size please put in the comments below the way you have used tiny task that might help us I hope you've enjoyed the video please subscribe and give it a like and I'll see you on the next video